Another fire burning out of control just 10 kilometers north of Princeton is now 2,000 hectares large. 140 firefighters are on scene battling this blaze. Officials issued a mandatory evacuation order for 54 properties in the area, while another 200 properties have been placed on evacuation alert. The fire actually jumped Highway 5A last night and forced a partial closure of the road. Now, the fires are also having an impact on travel in many parts of the province tonight. Mm -hmm. Highway 1 is closed in both directions between Ashcroft and Cache Creek. Highway 97 is also closed from Cache Creek to Clinton and from 100 Mile House to Laclahash. For more information on road closures, visit the Drive BC website. The fires have forced thousands to run at a moment's notice, and there is no word when they'll be able to return to assess the damage. Yeah, so evacuation centers are being set up throughout the interior, including in 100 Mile House. So that is where we find Brianna Carson Smith at this hour. Brianna, how's everyone doing? Sinjin, uh, there have been hundreds of people here over the past 24 hours. There are still some evacuees in 100 Mile House at this hour, but many of the officials are asking anyone who can do so to go to Prince George. That's simply so that they don't exhaust the limited resources that are here in 100 Mile House, especially if more people are forced to leave. The curling rink in 100 Mile House has turned into a community of its own. Hundreds stopping here after running from a growing fire. We've seen a lot of smoke. Um, and from where we were, um, the planes kept flying right above our house all day, just constantly with the water, the helicopters with the water, just making loops around and around, trying to get a handle on the fire as best they could. Others left before they were even told to. We weren't sure whether or not they were going to close the highway, and they put 100 mile on alert for evacuation, and so we thought it was best to bring our campers out here to reunite with their parents. In several places, gas stations have run dry. This one ran out of fuel around 10 Friday night as hundreds filled up while fleeing. The station down the road now constantly lined up. To get fuel just because it's the last gas station in town so got to get it before it's out. Further south in Kamloops, this centre was set up on just 30 minutes notice. The city's hotels are completely booked because of several sporting events. We just don't have that capacity uh, other than uh, group lodging with cots and stuff. It's not ideal but at least hopefully they'll be safe and dry. Those arriving here from Ashcroft and Cache Creek had to leave their homes quickly. We don't have anything, just this one. That's it. That's it. Yeah. And aren't sure what they'll return to. We have a business in Cache Creek. We have a house in Cache Creek. Yeah, we don't know. It's scary. Grateful for a place to stay, but nervous about what's next. If there's so many people here, so many faces, familiar faces, I just feel for the people that have lost their homes already. Yeah, I bet they're nervous. Okay, Brianna, I hear the vacuums are getting uh, some advice from people who know this very well. That's right. Throughout the day today, residents from Fort McMurray have been posting on social media, offering both support and advice. Advice, of course, that they learned during the May 2016 wildfire there that destroyed a lot of that city. That advice includes having a bag packed and ready to go, have your important ID on you, and have a tank full of gas in case you are asked to leave at a moment's notice. Sinjin? Some good advice, Brianna. Thank you.